Would you believe me if I told you that this one thing could take your sales from this to this? Hi guys, my name is Meg Heckman and I've been selling print on demand for the last four and a half years. And in this video, I'm sharing the one singular factor that can easily take your store from no sales to well over $10,000 a month in sales. No, it's not a new ad strategy or even an SEO hack. It's actually one design. Yes, one design can simply take your store from crickets to scaling to the moon. It really is that simple. But if it truly is that simple, why have so many people never gotten a single sale? And honestly, we can think of it like this. Have you ever seen this illustration? As you can see, the miner is digging and digging. You can tell he's been digging for a really long time. He has been putting in the work, he's been putting in the effort, and he doesn't know it, but the gold and the gems and the jewels, it's all right there. It's right on the other side of the wall. But he's turned around because he's tired. He has tried, he has dug and dug, and he has decided, he's put his hands up and said, I've had enough. I've worked so hard, this clearly cannot work for me. I honestly think that's what most people do with print on demand, or really starting a business in general. They put in a lot of the foundation, a lot of the work. They throw their store up, try to run some traffic to it, and just nothing happens. And instead of trying to figure out exactly why people aren't clicking their ad or why people aren't checking out on their site, they simply say, I put in so much work. I tried so hard. I put money into this and I'm not seeing results. It must not work for me. Most people will take a solid stab at print on demand and then after some time and effort, they'll get annoyed that they haven't seen any results and then walk away from it forever. But really the diamonds, the gold, the gems, they're right there and they just need one more design. So in this video, I'm going to break down the three-step process that I use to help find that one design that changes it all. So let's get into it. The first step in finding winning designs is really knowing your niche. And what I mean by knowing your niche is knowing like what your niche actually wants, what they like. This is something that we saw on History Tees. We really knew our niche because our business partner was a total history buff and really loved history. He would read history textbooks. He knew the ins and outs of history. So when we got into the history niche, we weren't just simply scratching the surface. We were digging deep. We were keeping things broad. So we were hitting people of the general public, but at the same time, some of our designs were so specific to the thing that happened in history that only people who were big history buffs actually understood the design. And that just helped explode the brand because people looked at it as, wow, this person started this store and clearly they love history as much as I do. And they felt that History Tees was a brand that was designed just for them. I think a lot of times people will get into print on demand and they'll try to find one of the really popular niches, even though they may not know that much about that niche. And in the end, I think it sometimes hurts your brand because if you're just scratching the surface or you're not quite sure if the joke that's on the shirt is actually funny, you could be hitting or missing huge parts of your niche. So when I tell new people who are starting out that are looking for their niche, I tell them to look at things that they actually enjoy and things that they do in their life that would make them fit within that niche. So if you love sports, a sport niche may be great for you. But if you're somebody who's never played a sport in your life, picking a sports niche probably isn't the best choice for you. So I would think really long and hard, and I would put some more time into researching the niche that you actually want to go with to make sure that you're able to hit a bunch of different avatars within that niche. This first step is really important. But if you aren't following steps two and three, you're going to have a really hard time finding and creating that one design that is going to sell for you. So the second step in this process would be market research. 
And yes, you did some market research when you were looking for your niche, but now we're gonna dig a little bit deeper and we wanna see what kind of products and what kind of designs are already selling in the niche that you selected. By no means am I saying to go out, find designs, copy it, and then paste it on your store. That's not what I'm saying whatsoever. And I highly recommend not doing that because it'll end up just biting you in the butt. We don't wanna be copycatters. We want to be original. We wanna be unique. That's what's going to help our designs really stand out. But we can get some really great ideas by looking at what's already selling within our niche. And we can write down the different topics that these designs are hitting. Are they mostly typography? That'll tell us most of our designs could probably go the typography route. Or are they funny, sarcastic? Do they have jokes related to them? Are they mostly design focused? Do they use watercolor or go for more of a comic kind of style? This is all part of the research that you wanna be doing to then help you tailor your designs. And by gathering hundreds of ideas that are out there already within the niche, we can plug those ideas into ChatGPT and have ChatGPT do the hard work of coming up with different designs that we can try to create and hopefully pop off within our niche. Now, steps one and step two, they're nothing new or out of the ordinary. I would say most people who are within the print on demand space are saying this. It's important to know your niche. And it's also really important to do a deep dive of market research and see what's out there and already selling within your niche. But if you're only doing those two things and you're skipping out on this third step, you are going to have a really hard time finding that one design that takes your store from this to this. So finally, step three, you need to make at least 100 designs based off of the research of your niche. And this is so that you're giving your store the best chance of having a winning design right off the bat, or at least enough for research in ad testing. So the way that I approach print on demand, I get hundreds of designs, I put them on a store, and then I run an advantage plus campaign. This way it's testing every single design within my store without me really having to do any of the hard work. And from looking at all of that data, I'm able to see what people in the niche are clicking and liking the most. This is really important because then I can take that information back to the drawing board. So I can create new designs based off of that data so that hopefully more people are then clicking on my ad, getting to my site, and hopefully purchasing. Now, I know 100 designs sounds like a lot, and honestly, it is. It takes a lot of time, but you're giving your store a larger percentage chance of finding something, finding anything, even if it's four or five designs that are getting clicks, that is enough research to then go back to the drawing board, keep creating new designs, putting them within ads, and you will watch sales start to come in. It really is such an important step. So many people out there will think they have enough to launch with maybe 20 designs. And yeah, maybe you do. Maybe you're a total genius within your niche and it may only take 20 designs. But from teaching thousands of people how to start print on demand, we have seen time and time again, you really do need at least 100 designs to find four or five potential winners to then go back to the drawing board. Print on demand is by no means easy. It really does take a lot of time and focus, especially in the beginning when you're starting and setting up your store. But after four and a half years of selling t-shirts with the print on demand model, I can honestly say that it really was one design that got my store off of the ground and really got the ball rolling. If you've tried print on demand, comment below and let me know how many designs it took you to start seeing results. And if this is new information for you, comment below and let me know your thoughts on getting 100 designs before starting. And if you're interested in starting a print on demand brand, go to www.school.com 
Heckman. In our school community, we host our free 21 hour course where we teach you absolutely everything with getting started in print on demand, as well as a ton of free downloads for you to use in getting started and thousands of community members who just like you are trying to start a print on demand brand. And if you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe to my channel so I can help others that are trying to get started in print on demand. Thanks for watching. Thank you.